Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whichever applies to you. Welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Julia, and today I have got a very special guest who is going to be introducing me to one of her favorite songs. I'm surprised I've never heard it before, to be quite honest, but I'm super keen to be looking at Jeff Buckley's Grace, the BBC Late Show performance with the very voice mama. Hello, <laughs> gorgeous. So today I do have the delightful Lolly. If you do not know Lolly, she runs the Fairy Voice Mother I try. channel. Yeah. I try. We do our best to break down the voices. So yeah, that's what we're going to do today. Wait, yeah. I'm very excited because my favorite singer of mm. all time, my favorite song of all time. Mm. And then I mean, it doesn't really get better than this. So it's a big day for me. <laughs> Quite a big day. Shut up. <laughs> okay. All right. So we're just going to dive straight into it. This is what we do. This is what we do. Let's do this. I'm excited. I'm very excited. <laughs> Unbelievably excited. Okay. Play the title track from his album, Grace. Also, I've got a little cough. I hope you guys don't mind. I will get better. It's all this. It's all this traveling. Mm -hmm. I'm in Portugal right now. That's how. We're, that's how we're filming together. We are. Here yeah, we are. We're in Portugal. But as much as I'm listening to the voice, mm -hmm. I'm tonally finding myself completely suspended. Mm, that's a good way of putting it. I'm, yeah. Yeah. I'm listening to the chords that are underneath, and then some of the more melodic ideas that are being played on the guitar mm. and then how the chord is progressing and I'm like yeah what tone center am I in I know I think it's I... all in drop D <laughs> okay okay uh, all, I think a lot of his songs are in drop D yeah cool. but um yeah but the shapes are very I tried to learn this on the guitar until I realized that um <laughs> that, was, too that was gonna be a long road <laughs> yeah but yeah uh, the it's, it's all in drop D and the his chords always have this kind of melancholic yeah uncomfortable yeah there's like a but you ride it with him yes there's a certain degree of uncertainty in like the tonal qualities that i'm hearing mm. and if i was to speak to the voice the thing that's standing out to be the most is probably the phrasing because mm. i wouldn't say that he's using predictable phrasing at all there are some songs where you can kind of guess what's going to happen next like there are patterns that can be set up mm. and you can kind of go oh this is most likely going to happen here his phrasing isn't predictable no and it means that Mixing that like uncertainty in the musical like tone plus the uncertainty of what he's gonna do with his phrasing and then the structure of the song as well like I'm It's constant suspense. Yeah, you're in constant suspense being completely suspended. This is cool We're gonna keep going and then we may go back later and look at some tone stuff. Yeah, okay. All right oh. The best is yet to come off of course you already know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't I've never seen it before. Oh, but I mean you can imagine I can imagine because you're so excited. Yeah. <laughs> My legs are shaking. You what? My legs are shaking. Your legs are shaking. Yeah. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. Before we go, the way in which he's using his vibrato is also very interesting. It's like he's putting this little shudder mm -hmm. in the bottom of the vibrato. Typically, for a vibrato, we want. Uh, a clear and obvious oscillation of the pitch. It's very even if you're looking at a clean vibrato. And here we've almost got that like uh, happening in that sound. Yes. And 
it, it's almost something like I've heard from um, other like world music That is styles. so interesting you say that. Yeah. He also sings in, I think it's Hindustani. Hindustani? Okay, oh, yeah. that's okay. Or Carnatic singing. He <laughs> loves Indian vocalists. Okay, that makes so much sense because if there's one thing Indian vocalists are crazy good at, it is those like little oh, wow. micro modulations, yeah. shutters, mm. all these different kinds of vocal ornamentations. So that's very cool and I just again that uncertainty because yeah it's, it's there and it's gone and you're like oh, where is it going that's and so there's cool. all kinds of vibrato as well I mean this disc kind oh, of yeah. tilt kind of mm. uh, and then you, you do get the steady oscillations at times as well mm. so mm. Um, yeah so just a fantastic example of a blend between the mm. east and the west absolutely and if we're talking like anatomy or physiology it will feel different to do those things. To me, if I'm thinking of that shudder, I feel more of that like thyroid, mm. like shuddering as well. Mm. Whereas if I'm doing like a clean vibrato, if I'm going, ah, I don't yeah, feel similar. anything like yeah. physiologically, it's all vocal fold, right. if that makes sense. Whereas in those shudders, I can, mm. it almost gives me that like sympathetic feeling of the yes. cartilages being a little bit more aggressive. A very dramatic. Movement. Yes. Dramatic cartilages. Dramatic cartilage in the <laughs> Of course, this is all happening in a very tiny scale. So weirdly, we're the dramatic ones. Yeah, we're just very zoomed in. <laughs> Super zoomed. In. Very zoomed in. All right, let's zoom back into this. <laughs> zoom in. Yeah. Where the heck are we musically? <laughs> Some Jeff. I feel like he's sitting very much in the same place. He's got that speech quality, so he's like sitting at the front, but I wouldn't call this a very heavy tone no. like, at all. I feel like he's sitting very lightly in his mm -hmm. first register, super speech quality, and every now and again he brings a little bit of darkness mm -hmm. into the sound. Yeah. Is he doing that with his tongue, do you reckon, or do you reckon he's achieving that just by closing his mouth a little bit more? There's a, he does a lot of jaw manipulation, mm. especially to achieve the um, that that heavy kind of vibrato tilty yeah, uh, quality. Yeah, yeah. But go, go. I reckon a lot of it is d directing resonance into the mm. into the face somehow, whether it's his tongue mm. or. Mm, I don't think it's particularly tonguey because you hear okay. a lot of a lot of space and that, yeah, and that book and because that spatial quality doesn't change too much in terms of mm. the resonance. I would expect if it's tongue manipulation, you would hear like kind of what you hear David Draymond and the likes do, where oh, right. it's very kind of and then it's down and stuff. But you don't really get mm. that with him. It's more kind of. I think because it's so subtle too. Mm. There's that okay. So the darker quality that I'm talking about, if I go back a little bit, I'll, I'll point it out. It's like there and then it's gone. So there are some things that are happening in, internally to influence that sound. That's how we change the colors of our tone in general, is we're doing manipulations, whether it's with the jaw, whether it's with the tongue, whether it's with like shifting where we think we're putting it. Mm. Like singing is psychosomatic, like to the next level. Totally. But um, I'll see if I can find ex exactly, specifically what I'm talking about so you guys can hear it too. Let's go to the darkness. Like, like, oh, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we have this like little, it's like a little lick, go, yeah, yeah. It feels yeah. like a tiny little lick mm. in the back of the tongue, and it's like, yeah, oh, could be a little gone. Well, tongue hump, little, yeah, a little tongue hump, a little tongue bump. <laughs> anyway, Holly, that's not what this channel's about. <laughs> okay, yet. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. What? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> He's lowering the tone yeah. with the tongue. I'm lowering the tone with the, you know. Yep. Okay, okay. <laughs> if that doesn't go into the bloopers, you guys are in for fun. <laughs> All right. I'm going to have a massive cough just for a moment, though. <coughs> so now that you guys know what I'm talking about, you'll probably hear it every now and again. It just, like, mm -hmm. edges in and then it goes away. Mm -hmm. It's, like, not what I would call a consistently dark tone at all. No. That's one of the things mm. I love about him is mm. that the tone is always... 
moving. It's always moving, and mm. you get you get more nasal resonance, then you get more oral resonance, mm. and then the, the, the larynx doesn't know where it wants to go. Well, he knows where it wants to go, yeah. but we don't. No, I'm and not chill. able to predict this at all. Even no. that, little, that little groove that they set up on the guitar, mm. I was like, oh cool, I'm finding something I can and connect then, to. And then it changed! Yeah. And then it changed, I'm like, okay, this is, this is cool. I'm gonna stop trying to... And I've seen so many live performances of this song yeah. and they're all different. So he's one of those. He's one of those. He's one of those. God, okay. All right. Bloody Jeff. Right. All right. Here we go. Good on you, Jeff. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Let's take it back a little and then we'll just keep going. I Let's promise we're gonna keep going, I'm so sorry. arrangement I'm not just talking like a sense of movement I'm talking like directionally in the actual musical patterns so we have that raising feeling mm -hmm. in the guitar pitch wise and then you have what he's doing vocally yes he's going up in pitch but registration wise he's also technically ascending through his registers and he's flipping between mm -hmm. his first and his second register if you're new to the channel or new to either of our channels yeah. first register full fold contact second register thin fold contact at the front so he's doing this really cool like crack Flip he between is. the two of them, and if you're too trained, that can actually be really hard to do yes. because you wind up blending those two registrations a lot. And so having that really cool like crack flip, I'm I'm going back. It's fun. There's no blendy Wendy. There's no blendy Wendy on no. this one. No, she's not welcome. She's not. She's not in the building. No, she's checked out. Has left the chat. <laughs> has left the chat. All right. Um. Let's let's go. I want it again. Like there, you did it twice mm. between registers. So oh yeah, yes, yeah. exactly. So she's got yeah, yeah. amazing. <laughs> um, I don't blendy Wendy very well though, so <laughs> that's fine. I blendy Wendy too much. <laughs> that's why we're. This is why we work together. <laughs> All right, um, and yeah. So what's happening there? Let's listen to it again. And the biggest indicator for us that he's changed registers is the difference in tone. Mm. So it does get very thin and very breathy. In classical music, sometimes they refer to falsetto as a registration. In commercial, I personally use falsetto as a description of timbre, yeah, no. as opposed to a register, because you can put so many different tones Absolutely. in your second register that are not necessarily that falsetto timbre. Mm -hmm. So that's how I kind of interpret it. Is that like? Yeah, that's the same exactly thing? how I would say. I yeah. would describe it as thin, thin folds. Yeah, and then thin fal falsetto would be yeah, generally yeah. characterized with breath. You know, generally, yeah. <gasps> Would yes. be like a falsetto. Yeah, yeah. Whereas, would be a falsetto. Yeah. Um, so we're listening for that tone change from being slightly fuller, a little bit warmer. He's got this mm -hmm. tiny little bit of brightness in it, but it's not like intolerable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then it goes to breath, back to full, breath, back to full. Yeah. It's, it's quick, guys. Like this is, <laughs> this is quick. It's a sprinkle. My time is cold. Okay, we're gonna go back a little more.
why am I losing it? Okay, first of all, I'm just completely in love with that like build to the like mm. Mm, 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 that drives. Mm, 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 it's going. Mm, 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 mm. Like oh, you can really feel yes. this like extra movement that could potentially go in there. And it's raising, so you are raising. Mm -hmm. This is fantastic musical storytelling. <laughs> um, you hear me bang on about layers all the time. But layers aren't the only way that you can create tension in music. You can create tension with pitch, you can create tension with rhythm, you can create tension with dynamics. This is where rhythm and pitch are doing just a great job of that like feeling of movement of going somewhere and that's mm. really cool and then of course vocally he's just doing whatever the heck he wants <laughs> that is a really great way to yeah. describe it because it's like you know when he when he ascends and you've got those belts and stuff yeah. they're not perfect they did hit not it out oh let's find one of those because there was one he put this like very shuddery vibrato yeah that to me indicates a lot of instability absolutely actually. so much instability like yeah. you could lose that sound so so easily. Yeah, it would could yeah. hang off to completely thin. Yeah, yeah, it, it could so easily just break and you wouldn't have it at all. No. And he comes out of it anyway. <laughs> um, it's like edge. walking the razor's edge. Yes, but yeah. that's what makes it cool. It does make it cool. <laughs> 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 <coughs> Alright, we need I need to hear that again. I'm gonna break it down a little more. I would love that. Even pitch wise, yes, he's left the key. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, it's like it's it's got like no core oscillation to it pitch wise. Right, all the things you would yeah. expect from vibrato, like that oscillation between a, a yeah. semitone or two, and yeah. no, it's it's much larger. It's got the yeah. it's a similar to what would uh, like a, a caprino uh, vibrato effect, right. the baby goat kind of. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, but yeah, like yeah. Between registers, yeah. like you can hear it go thin and thick and thin. Yeah, thin. yeah, that's insane. And the thing is, that kind of sound sound sounds so cool in this context, but if there was too much of it, you would be like, this person can't sing. Uh, right. That is, is exactly like, when you isolate a little piece of his vocal performance, it's like, is he a good singer? <laughs> yeah, what's going on? And then on you here? watch the rest of it and you're like, yeah, he's okay. great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's good. <laughs> he's got it. He's my favorite. Okay, but um, well, we're gonna listen to that again. I want you to listen to that shudder and how the pitch inflection changes mm. into something that's very uncomfortable. Mm. And then he ascends. As he's ascending, that to me is actually a very thin mixed sound. Yes. I'm not hearing too much like TA. No. Um, TA being thyroarytenoid, it's the muscle that makes the vocal folds fatter and thicker, giving it more mass. So it tends to make things sound a little bit heavier. Mm -hmm. So for example... When we speak? Yeah, lo when we speak, we're a lot heavier. Um, but if you go back far enough, mm -hmm. the speaking choices for women were actually a lot higher. Yeah. So a lot of them would speak up here. So sometimes you get old ladies. That's true. And you hear them when they speak up here. And yeah. that's because that's where they're told to, to speak. So oh, I didn't know that. But yeah, but that makes so perfect sense. Like that, though, when you hear those like older ladies with that kind of instability, yeah. 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 That's just a little bit up there. And it's because they're thin folds all the time. Mm. Um, but when you're belting, you can mix it. So there's not as much fullness when he's modulating up there is kind of what I'm listening for which also indicates to me that he is not using a whole lot of space behind that sound mm -hmm. it is resonance mm -hmm. that's giving us any kind of power yes on that it's all yeah all harmonics Whew. all right we gonna listen to that again oh and just for example different kind of belters use different kind of coordinations uh, Lolly favors a heavier belt. Mm -hmm. I have to light belt, otherwise I can't belt at all. Mm -hmm. So again, it's completely unique. Neither is better than the other, but you can use them in different ways and it will give you different sounds. Yeah, there's indications of things sounding good and, it, and it's not just about the, the tonal quality, it's the, mm -hmm. it, are, are you, can you hear any space? Is that sound strained or has it got space to resonate? You know, things, yeah. things like that. Yeah, yeah, indicate. yeah, 100%. Okay. Whereas I start to constrict too much if I want to take mass up too high. Mm -hmm. I don't have the space to work with unless mm. I'm a little thinner. All right, let's keep going. God, I keep banging on about everything. That's the point. I know. But I want you to just keep banging on. I love it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Grossness at the top there, but Sick. it's amazing. And then it, how he finishes, it, it's almost like 
I, when he does these little passages, yeah. I, I think of it as like a gymnast on a beam doing a bunch right. of flips. And then they're like, oh, hang on, it nearly fell off. But yeah. then he lands like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, we did it. <laughs> that one yeah. sticks to landing. Yeah. <laughs> Almost yeah. fell several times. Right. But didn't technically screw up. Crushed That's it. it. That's it. And it was amazing to watch. Yeah. All right. Um, now that we've mentioned the vibrato, you guys can hear that instability mm. in all of his modulations, yeah? Mm -hmm. let, me know, let me know in the comments below if you can hear that now on all of those modulations because... You're on the edge with us. us. Yeah, you're on the edge with us. On the edge with me, you know this. I, I don't know what's coming. <laughs> yeah, but I'm still on the edge. <laughs> you'll, you'll never leave the edge with Jeff. <coughs> cool. All right. Um, gonna keep going. Navigate different spaces there. Navigate registers, yes, but also spaces. Yes. When he's at this front, it's, ah, nah, nah, nah. it's actually quiet at the front. Mm -hmm. And then when he goes, ah, that's it. We have this like space at the at the back there. That's mm -hmm. wild. Mhm. Mm and degrees of constriction in, in that first sound, and then it's just gone. Yeah, no, exactly. It's so open. He goes to second, and it's like, yeah, bye. That's it. How about cool. that? Jeff Buckley, who will be returning. <laughs> She's like, that was Jeff. Anyway, on with the news. <laughs> what the flip? I know, I know. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I know. Okay, but I'm glad now that we spoke about vocal weights mm. before now, because a lot of his belting in there was a lot heavier. Yes. And if we're looking at some of the, I guess, anatomical signs of needing a little bit more resonance and a little bit more power, we start to see his teeth a lot more yep. in that belting. We do. And so he's got this ah, kind of like power coming through his sound. Yep. So you his teeth like ah, mm -hmm. it's like you're biting into a big apple. So mm -hmm. let's, let's go back and we'll have a little look. Now this works sometimes for some people, but usually the higher up you go, the more the mouth needs to open because we want to make that space mm -hmm. in the back of the pharynx. Yep a little bit smaller so we start to target some of those higher harmonics um, so they come across as a perceived volume that is more powerful than if you just tried to belt it with mass alone so that's uh, something you may see with the mouth opening that's what's happening acoustically I yeah. guess you could say as well yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, which is amazing but let's look at these mouth shapes so here <laughs> yeah. all teeth eh, and the tongue it's very and, just, yeah the tongue very, is high very held yeah yeah very high um, and the distortion. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you want to talk about the distortion? Because I don't use that much distortion in my sound. Mm -hmm. Whereas you are a lot better with distortion. I dabble. So, <laughs> she dabbles. 
Yeah, I mean, uh, we're gonna have a little, we can have a little refresh. Yeah, yeah, I think we should do that. Here, you can see both the top and the bottom teeth. Oh yeah, I never really thought of it like that. Ang, 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 ang. <laughs> so pretty. So we see that tongue move when mm -hmm. he goes to distortion. And it's like, the segue into it is the s, and then he adds it on the l. It's like, it didn't come out very well. That wasn't it either. But, but um, okay. <laughs> you get the idea. <laughs> yeah, but the, um, yeah, you can tell how he's prepared the tongue, he's lifted the back to allow space for extra movement down there mm. by the folds. I guess an onset that he's using with his shape to get into that distortion. Yeah, like so, a preparation. Yeah, like a preparation. Let's hear that preparation again. And I don't know, I feel like if we, we could probably dive into this a lot more mm -hmm. than, we, than we are mm -hmm. right now, but um, let's just listen to this because he uses this distortion a lot. I didn't hear a whole lot of variety in the distortion. It felt like yeah, it's variations of a theme as opposed to like, oh, I'm using different kinds of mucosa. Yeah, no, it's generally the same kind of tissue that he uses to distort, but he yeah. will do it with different fundamental uh, sounds. For yeah. example, he will go between what you would describe as first and second register, yeah. thick folds and thin folds, with that yeah. same kind of mm. effect. Naturally, mm. the uh, movement of that tissue will slightly change as you go up, because he does very high, screamy distortions yeah. as well as yeah, the yeah. as well as the thicker ones. Mm. So um, the the distortion can move kind of between um, cartilages, like corniculate cartilages, and uh, areopagotic folds. Just for people who aren't familiar with the cornicular cartilages, shall we create a little baby larynx <gasps> together? Yes. Oh my god. All right. Okay. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be the cricoid, and you can be the thyroid. Like the best okay. All right. So I'll be the cricoid. Okay. All right. And you're gonna be the. Th Okay, wait, I'll go this way. Are we going chords? Okay, okay. Are we let's, including let's just chords? Do chords? I call them folds. Folds. No, I mean, they, they are folds. They are folds. Sometimes, like, because the first way I learned it yeah. like, in my bachelor's was, was chords, yeah. and then now I'm like, chords, folds. Sometimes I call them colds. Folds. <laughs> <laughs> so. It's okay. just, 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 just. Anyway, if you're not sure, I'm gonna put a diagram up. But basically, you've got your cricoid cartilage, you've got your thyroid cartilage, and then behind that thyroid cartilage, you have your vocal folds. So where would those curricular cartilages be? They would be here. They would be here. And then you have the. <laughs> and then you have the the areopagotic folds, and they would yeah. they would do a bit of this. Yeah. And the cornicular cartilage would do like this, like this. And all the while, the the folds themselves will also be doing. That, right? So you have these coming together as well, where usually they wouldn't come together, right? So yeah. uh, that basically you have surrounding movement. So the, mm. the folds move in the middle as they would usually yeah. do for a clean yeah. sound production, and these move yeah. around. And the, the distortion can be uh, dominant in the cartilages, and in the folds as well, because a lot of people think it's kind of just like fold, a fold only no. game when it's not, there's a lot of... Half it, actually, I would say majority of the time, healthy distortion, as in like more sustainable distortion, yes. because everything that you use has a limit for efficiency at some point. Um, some, and different people genetically are going to have more efficiency for some sounds than others, but for distortion, if it's coming just from your vocal folds, that to me usually indicates the actual that, fold, the, the yeah. true folds themselves. Yeah, that's it's coming from the true folds. You're probably tear. not. Yeah, you're gonna have a bit more wear and tear. Yes, um, and potentially permanent wear and tear mm -hmm. if you're not like resting appropriately or doing Natural. any of that kind of stuff. So it actually is those cartilages and it's the other uh, mucosa or little flappy bits. Mm -hmm. Various flaps. Various flaps. Flap flapping away. Yeah, all in perfect harmony. Yeah. Which requires except not because it's noise. Perfect noise. Perfect noise. <laughs> there is no oh, harmony. Not noise as in Only bad. Only chaos. Um, noise as in uh, if you're looking at like the sound waves themselves, a pure tone, yeah. um, or in other words for voice because it's a complex sound, you've got many tones that are above what the pitch you hear. Mm -hmm. uh, for noise, the regularity of that sound wave is not really there, mm -hmm. so you get that like kind of... There's no fixed frequency. Yeah, there's no yeah. fixed frequency. So that's what I mean by noise. I'm not being like, NOISE! This is bad! Oh, no, I love a bit of noise. Yeah, no, some people get... Like, yeah. What do you mean it's noise? He's like, what do you mean it's noise? No, no as in, like, I'm talking specifically acoustics -wise. Yeah, like, it's noise! <laughs> as in, like, yeah. defined by the sound waves of it looking like noise, that is a pure <laughs> sound. Um, yeah. Cool. Um, Let's just do it again. All right. I feel like we fell down and ran all that. <laughs> Are we gonna make? Oh, I didn't swear on my channel. Ship. ship. We said that at the same time. We said ship. We said ship at the same time. <laughs>
Oops. Oops. It's okay. perfect. It is. All right. We're going to be back and I'm going to listen to things. I'm just playing guitar at the same time as Emma. He's playing guitar at the same time. Just yeah. Oh, that's the other thing is uh, when you're doing more than one thing, that means that muscles in your body that could be contributing towards your vocal sound <laughs> are now being utilized for something else. Yes. So it is a little bit more um, yeah. complicated of a co yeah, coordinated effort for doing that. Times yeah. a billion. Yeah, pretty much like that. Yeah, a lot. It's a lot. And um, he's hunched over so he hasn't got any support from his back. No, well, I was about to comment on support because I think part of why he's able to get away with the I guess lighter sound for mm. longer is because lighter sounds tend to not require as much support for the yeah. sound to be healthy and sustainable for longer periods of time. Yeah. Um, so he can kind of get away with that, I feel. And also the fact that he's amplified. Um, amplification Definitely. goes so far for making more inefficient sounds. Yes. And I'm just talking vocal health wise here. It's entertaining and, and glorious to listen to, but inefficient physiologically, amplification helps so much with being able to give you more time to work with those sounds because you don't have to work quite as hard to be heard. Mm. Um, I've mentioned this so many times on my channel, so. Yeah, it's really yeah. nice to practice, uh, again, it's just from the distortion perspective, yeah, it's yeah. nice to practice distortion in a microphone. A lot of the times people think that distortion is gonna be very loud, and oh, it's gonna be so, it's really not. Like uh, an opera singer is far louder than someone Stop, Elizabeth. trying to, yeah. <laughs> um, it would be far, Elizabeth would be far more resident and have a greater deal of volume than um, little old Jeff doing his distortion, for yeah. sure. Um, <laughs> Distortions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's right. gnarly. Yeah, cool. Where are you going? So, so, so. That dip thong. Name. Name with the tongue. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And the yes. onset for that, so he growls into that phrase, mm. but then there isn't really much growling after. Oh, no. Um, I didn't even catch the growl because I was too busy waiting for the name. name. Ah. Give me the dip thong. Ah. Mm. Mm. Dip those thongs. <laughs> <laughs> She's talking about flip flops. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Brings back that dynamic at the end. Remember I mentioned dynamics earlier for like tension building? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so hard to bring a sound down, like mm -hmm. a TA dominant thing after you've mm -hmm. been up there as well. Mm -hmm. Like a reverse yodel. It's, it's yeah. much more harder yeah. to control. Yeah. Oh, I've actually noticed that a lot from the beginning of the performance. He actually does have a lot of jaw movement. A lot of jaw movement. A lot of jaw movement. Yeah, um, because it would require, because sometimes very, um, what's the word? What's the word? For, for, for fast walking. movement. Agility. For, <laughs> agility. <laughs> agility. <laughs> so when the, when the voice wants to perform agile phrases, yeah. we'd also need that release in the jaw. And obviously mm. it, it's kind of in the same realm, you know, fast vibrato and agile phrasing, it mm. requires that same level of looseness. Yeah. You know, so. If you're too tense, agility is going to be an issue. Mm -hmm. Which is weird because the jaw moving itself is a form of tension. Well, yeah. But right, the back of his jaw is like, yeah. Tension's gonna be somewhere, you just gotta choose where to put it. Yeah. 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 Mm. He is yodeling like a mother flipper. No, it was a lonely guy. There he was. There he is, God. using a rattle yeah so with this yeah part of the distortion the actual thin sound itself the, ah, is not particularly distorted <laughs> it gives you no. the illusion that it is because he onsets it with a ah, yeah so i do this 
horrible seagull sound where it's like, ah! it's got that like rattle happening yeah. at the top there, but he's belting and it's, it's all twang, it's all on the yeah. front. We were talking about this last night. We was. Um, we were making some absolutely We were making some horrible misses. Oh. It was glorious. Oh. <laughs> like, um, but if we're up there, let me see if I can get that placement and that sound. Do you reckon he's on, on an E? Eh. It's an E. Oh no, I meant in the note, E5. Oh, and then E. <laughs> <laughs> um, is it? I think it's higher. Well, I'll give it a crack and I'll let it's you know. It's over an I think it, it, it's probably an E or an E. Oh yeah, he's thin fold there, but he's twanging the crap out of that. Oh my Ooh, god. Oh, actually, is it? So that. Okay. So we can have this like. You already slid up into that. Let's listen to that slide again. I think that's a name. great way of getting up into that sound. And it's <laughs> a setup that you hear in a lot of our rock and our metal singers, mm -hmm. particularly things like power metal. Mm -hmm. And where they get really, really high, it's that bright metallic sound. Same twang setup as, as what's happening here. <laughs> He's already getting himself set up there to be able to hear. So can have that yeah. like, yeah. it's it's very narrow. My mouth is ah! to get that sound there. I am like teeny weeny, yeah, teeny weeny at the back there because yeah, here is pressure. like, mm -hmm. I gotta eat your head. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so he is so very much so. there. It's like yeah, yeah, and, and then you, you put your seagull at the start. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> seagull at the start and then just ride yeah. that little wave. You seagull and then you... Hmm. Yeah, that's it. Tutorial. That's it. How to <laughs> Tutorial. in one simple <laughs> step. Seagull. Oh. <laughs> uh. Also, he holds this for so long. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> he holds this for so long and I find his tonal center does waver because he brings in those other he brings in those other elements and that messes with his pitch. Yeah, of course. But he's still sustaining the absolute heck out of that. I gotta know what it is, where's my phone? And it's um it feels like an E to me. No, it is it yeah, no it is. I'm I'm pretty it's yeah, it's definitely not an F. No. No, it's not. No. Doesn't feel it feels like an E. Feels like an E. Which is really flipping high. Okay, yeah, it is. for a guy, yeah. it's it's high. Yeah. Oh, bang on. There we go. No noise at all. Oh, I hear it. It's connected to my head. Oh it's my god, me. you <laughs> 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 She stole my... Wait, what? Why is it connected to my phone? I it know. is right? Yeah, it is. I can hear it's it. E5. It's an E. It's an E, god damn it. She's got it. She's got it. <laughs> I'm just going to check to make sure the sound is still connected appropriately. So, <laughs> I think we might stop it there, to be honest. Um, so much else that we could have spoken about. Uh, that soft pullback at the end, almost like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, that was that. I know, it's just, um, how many times do you want all of them? Yeah. yeah. They're like, you know, it's just a little song I wrote. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. We, we sang it and we're done now. What we sang, we sang. Yeah, and yeah. that's one word for it. We did it. <laughs> when you're listening to Jeff Buckley, what would you say is your absolute favourite thing about his voice? You can only choose one! <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna be caught. Right, one, what, my most favourite thing about his voice, mm. well, it would be the brain relationship with his voice in terms of the notes that he chooses. Right, yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, the, because singing a song all the way, all the way through and, yeah. and choosing to riff and stuff is, is one thing, but that can be done so many different mm. ways but the notes that he chooses and his eastern influences mm. and the, the, the scalic choices and the merging more things the application of those choices with the with the technique of the, the, the just the stuff that he does mm. with the vibrato mm. basically yeah. I, I'm gonna list all the things I like about his voice so I'll stop yeah there. I was like that was more than that was more thing. than one thing okay my was favorite thing about one. Jeff is, is everything is, yeah, I mean, he is my favourite singer. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but the, 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 the brain connection with yeah. his voice, I'll just yeah. go with that. Um, it's just... So, to, to put it in a different way, I guess, 
there's people who are amazing physically. They can right. voices physically are very good at many things. Yeah. But then there are people who musically just go in places that are very exciting. Mm. Yeah. And it makes them different. It makes them unique. There are lots of parts of listening to this performance that indicate to me that he's probably had not had training mm. um, in some ways. He did learn the Indian oh, yeah. stuff. Apart from the I don't know Hindustani if he's stuff. had sort of, you know, yeah. can, I don't know if he yeah. knows what he's doing. Only just because there are parts of how he expresses his voice that if you have too much vocal training, it kind of yeah, gets trained out of you. It's true. It's harder to have those kind of like cool cracks and yes. flips and things because you wind up over training your voice. Yeah. Um, so that's, but this yeah. was very cool. I very much liked him, <laughs> his movements. And yeah. um, I really enjoyed the music. Aww. Yeah, the music itself. I loved that movement through there. It kind of reminds me of one of my favorite um, Hiatus Coyote songs. Okay. Uh, Lace Skull. They have this like dun, dun, mm, bum, bum, Okay, just the, the drive. Bum, bum. Yeah, and the element drive of in the music. I yeah, I love the fact that I couldn't predict what his voice was gonna do. Yeah. So many really cool things are happening with, to me, is a light voice type. In this song, he uh, yeah. used his voice as if he was a light voice type. Yeah, um, no, no, he is. I'm just a, yeah. an analyzing the rest of the album. Yeah, it is. It is light. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I was like, could be wrong. She's listened to more of him than me. No, yeah, no, it is. It like, is. He's my favorite. Is that right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can't put um, into a box there. Yeah. But yeah, I'm probably gonna wrap that one up there. Is there anything else you'd like to add about this performance? About this performance I mean all I would say is that it it's different to the recording and to other performances that it's done. So it's interesting to check out mm. how he feels in different moments mm. because he's very he's very emotion driven to the point where as I say, yeah, that, that every time he sings it it's different. So um that's yeah. what I would add. So cool, so expressive, so creative. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, that is where I'm going to leave it today. Thank you so much for joining me and Lolly from The Fairy Voice Mother. I'm so glad that you were able to make it here. Um, I'm so glad that I, I, you were able to make it here. I'm in her apartment right now. I made it here. I made Portugal. it right here. Yeah. <laughs> um, but anyways, I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope you are staying healthy. Healthier than me, at least. Uh, <laughs> if you like this, subscribe. Please go check out Lolly's channel if you like this kind of like breakdown, this, mm -hmm. this energy. It's also fun. And I will leave another video that you might like uh, from my channel or from Lolly's channel mm -hmm. in the corner uh, somewhere. So click on that if you want more. Um, but if you really want a lot more, you can subscribe and uh, you will be notified. When I upload, I do upload chaotically, so that's actually a really good idea to hit the notification bell as well. Yeah. But yeah, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you next time. Bye. The only Whenever time we restart. restart is when that thing says you're done. Okay. And then you restart it. <laughs> when that's done, we're done. Other than that. Well, we might need to restart these ones, but that's once it's done, it's time, I think. I'm going to watch TV and try. Yeah, you're going to make my dreams come true. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah. But at the same time, there's also constriction. It's a very held sound. I don't know anyone here except her and she's here. <laughs> I apologize for when things are, are not what they should be. Um, <laughs> listen to her. Listen to her. No. <coughs> are you okay? She's dying. Do you require liquid libation? Ah! Oh, forgot to require my headphones not to slip <laughs> off my sweaty ears. <laughs> sweaty ears? Too much information, hey. Cute. cute. I'm wow. in Portugal and it's Everyone's wearing longs, like they're wearing sleeves and jeans, and I'm just like, dying. I'm dying, Lolly. I'm from Australia. I'm not meant to be, se like, I'm meant to be sensitive to cold. This is, no. <laughs> anyway. So, when you're listening, listening to Jeff, listening. <laughs> I will have, like, a little bit of liquid, though. I'm so sorry, guys. As you should. Yeah, but I never drink. Oh, that's not true. Vampire Julia drinks. Okay. Vampire Julia drinks a lot. Does she? Oh yeah. What, what kind She's of an things? alcoholic. Red wine. Uh, okay, naturally. Yeah. She's is a red vampire, wine? so other things as well. Uh -huh. <laughs> I should have known. I should have known. Alright. Mm. Turn it away. <laughs> no. Okay. Because knowing me, that thing will hit 30 and we won't realise. And then we'll be... <laughs> oh gosh! Oh, the yeah. collaboration will be ruined! <laughs> no one will right. ever know what happened this day. <laughs>